This is the all new Lego Minecraft Axolotl from summer 2024. It's rated for seven plus, it's set number 21247 and has 242 pieces. Let's take a look at this bad boy. The set really only comes with two minifigures, but also comes with two axolotls, an axolotl in a bucket, a stupid fish, and of course, a beautiful dolphin. And starting with minifigure number one, we've got our Minecraft scuba diver skin. It's okay, it's not great, it's not bad, but it comes with a netherite sword and a fish too. A look at the back shows us what kind of printing we're looking at. It's not great, it's not terrible, just sort of average. But for a set like this that's a little bit cheaper, it makes sense. And then here's the fish and his sword. Pretty basic, but nice that we get accessories for him. Next up, we have our drowned figure. This one is also basic too, but just looks like the original drowned that Minecraft Lego made before and is a perfect addition to the set. Something you get with a good mob and no complaints here. The back also has printed detail, which is nice. Like and subscribe. Next up, we've got the dolphin. This is the second time that we've seen the dolphin in Lego Minecraft, and it's awesome. I love the dolphin figure. I think it looks so good, basically from every angle except the bottom. Honestly, this set is worth it just for this figure alone. And looking at the back, the dolphin still looks great. And next up, we've got the axolotls, probably the main feature of this set. If you've seen the axolotls before in Lego, you know that they're just one big piece with a head on top, but they both look really good. We get a light blue color and a pink, one of which we haven't ever gotten before. And on that note, we have the cutest little part of this set. Two heads, axolotls in a bucket. It's adorable. They include the pink and the blue, so you've got extras of both, and you can exchange them. Then last, and certainly very, very least, we have this stupid, dumb, ugly, boring, and weird inclusion, a Minecraft fish made out of a brick with no face. It has nothing. I don't even know if this is a fish. Get it out of my face. I don't want to see this ever again. Bad. This is the worst part of the set. With that garbage out of the way, let's focus on the main build of the set, the axolotl head itself. This axolotl head is pretty good. I mean, I'm a personal fan of the Minecraft Lego animal series, so this thing fits right in, but it's not perfect. Starting out with the outside, I really like the way they did the coral, and they also added these two clear pieces so we can put our axolotls up and display them. We also have a bunch of tall grass, which is fantastic for the ocean, and we even get sea pickles, a magma block, and seaweed too. The coral on here looks great as well. As far as the outside goes, it's pretty plain, but it's the bottom of the ocean, so it kind of makes sense. But looking on the right side of the build, you can see a little window that shows us the interior of the axolotl head. Turning around to the back side of the axolotl head, it's completely open. This is my least favorite part of the set, is that they didn't really put any effort to close this thing off. They could have even taken a few pieces, but that just would have made it feel a little bit more complete. I get being able to get your hands in there, and especially for kids to play around in there, but Seeing as you can take the top off, I don't really understand why they didn't close this thing off or at least add a doorway. So that way, if you want to display it, it would look good on all four sides. Inside, we get a nice wet sponge, which is pretty cool. I think this is the first time we've seen that in Lego Minecraft. We also get a bed that's still too big and a furnace, which you can flip around to turn on, but I decided not to do that in this video. The axolotl does a great job at representing the head of an axolotl mob in Minecraft, but taking a look at the panda, we can see just how much of a difference it makes to have the entire mob represented. Now, of course, I'm not meaning to complain here. I know that we need cheaper sets in Lego Minecraft, and this is just part of the process, but it shows how much better the axolotl would have been if they just simply covered up the back of that head. And so there you have it. This is Lego's Minecraft Axolotl and you get what you pay for. It's cheaper, but this is probably one of the better Minecraft sets out right now. And considering the mobs we get, like that dolphin, it's relatively worth it. Other than that really, really dumb, 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 stupid, dumb fish that they made for whatever reason. This is a fantastic set and I would encourage anyone to pick it up if they are into Minecraft. So tell me what you think. Do you like this set? Is this something you'd be picking up in the future? Or do you have it already? What do you want to see from Lego Minecraft in the future? Let me know in the comments down below and subscribe to see more Lego Minecraft and other reviews like this. Thanks for watching another Woody review and we'll see you next time. Congratulations, you stayed till the end. Fist bump.